All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Syracuse Aviation once again. Um, April 1st today, so I, I did finally get the date. So yes, another spotting vlog. This one actually, I'm planning to post this one a little bit later, just because we just uh, we just had a spotting vlog a couple days ago, if you guys remember, on Saturday. That was a really fun video. That was awesome to make. This time it's going to be a little bit different because I don't have a friend joining me. I also don't know if I'm going to stay quite as long because I have some other stuff going on today um, in the Syracuse area. So we'll have to see, but uh, I'll see what I can do. So a little bit different today, but should be a lot of fun nonetheless. So I'll see you guys on the way to the airport. All right, folks, so we got two shout outs today on the way to the airport. So we got Red River Aviation and JJ Skippy. So guys, go ahead and say hello if you'd like. What's up? Hello. Good morning. What are you guys uh, up to today? Why don't you tell us that? I'm going to do a day trip today. Looking very important to it. JJ, and you're going to see I'm a 7-4. Maybe planning to go up to the airport pretty soon. Uh, just depends on when the 747 leaves, and then after that, I'm going back up to college for the week. There we go. Well, good luck to both of you. Hope it's a blast. And uh, go subscribe to their channels. Support them a little bit. They both deserve it. Really good guys. And I appreciate you guys being here today, so thank you. extra UPS 75 today. Oh, that is a sick golf stream, dude. Holy man, that is hot. Oh, something's on final too. Okay, let me see if I can get out here real quick and catch him. Oh, that looks awesome. All right, let's hop out. Oh, it's that uh, Dassault, I think. There's the Gulf Stream. Let's run over to the fence and see if we can catch their touchdown, at least. I shouldn't be charging the fence like this. I don't know if we got it. We might have. Nice. Well, there's that. Nice little treat. And let's look at this uh, Gulf Stream here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. November 100 X-Ray Sierra. Huh. That thing is hot, dude. This place is a facility. I mean, this, this, ah, uh, it's awesome here. Wow. Uh, I'm really happy with the fact that 1-0 is the active. So when you're in the economy lot, that's like really close to the runway and it's not as high as the parking garage, but it's much, much, much closer. So you can get some really nice uh, views of landing aircraft, even departing too, but you can actually see the aircraft touch down. So LaGuardia is on final, um, but this freaking snowplow truck came out and was guarding the fence while it was open and I didn't want to I didn't want to run over there I feel like that would look kind of suspicious as for the guy that just landed he's currently taxiing in so let's see where he goes last time I actually was able to feel the jet blast 
uh, which is really cool. So maybe I'll go there and anticipate. Oh, I think he's actually going to that same spot, which is awesome. So let's see what we can do. Guys, there's so much going on all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Um, United Express 145 is about to depart 1-0, so might as well catch what I can of it. Here he goes. Focus! There we go. Barely can see it, but... Sick. Here we are just a short block down the road with the freighters. Got some pretty nice looking pallets here. And of course, beautiful 752. That is always here. Different reg every time, of course, but you know, same difference. So cool. I love the uh, boarding door on the 75, or the freighter 75F. So small and unique. Something different. Cool looking plane. Very nice. So we've made it to the economy lot, which is massive. Um, you'll see why I like it, because not only is it massive, parking rates are much cheaper by a lot, uh, and it puts you right next to 1028, which is effort. Um, it's a little late. I was gonna go run and stand in the vase to the light pole, which you can see over the fence, but they're about to depart, so. I won't bother. And that's why I don't like it, because you can't really, you know, once your phone gets to a certain angle, you can't really uh, film through the fence anymore. So that's why I like standing up here. Now what's really good is instead of doing this <coughs> and seeing above the fence, if you have a truck with a truck bed, that's really good too. So we've got Frontier 320neo coming down, taxiing for departure, and we got something else on final that I can't quite see. It looks like a CRJ or something rather. So of course we're gonna stand up here I might like move my car and park in front of this so that if you know airport security officers see me they might think I'm standing on the car because I don't know if they would like me standing up here.
this spot's so good up here. I mean, that was that was an awesome shot of that Delta CRJ9. We've got Frontier holding short and Southwest on final. Guys, this is seriously amazing. I mean, really, April 1st, beautiful day. I couldn't ask for a better scenario than what we have going on right now. This is perfect. The lighting could be a little bit better, but in terms of recording the aircraft landing and taking off up close, this is as good as it's gonna gonna get for a while.
Yeah, the wind is uh, from the west right now, and they're still using 1.0. Nicely done. Man, I really thought they were going to switch to 2.8 here any minute, but they're still, 1.0 is still the active, so we saw a couple guys depart unexpectedly and arrive, and now we got a Delta 320 heading to Atlanta, also departing from 1.0, so that's perfect. So we're making out okay. One seventy five from DCA. Let's go. This is actually turning out okay. Got another CRJ9 service to Detroit. DT dubs.
So we made it inside the terminal again, and it looks like they're actually having a construction meeting for the gate 27 area. You got guys down there, and one of the conference rooms is open, and there's more guys in there chatting. So I'm thinking they're actually gonna start getting to work pretty soon here, which is good.
So as I said, they switched runways finally to 28. So we have a JetBlue 320 from Orlando, currently on final, and then they'll probably head out after this. Um, here's a little bit of the concourse for the JetBlue 190 heading up to JFK with gate 15 in the foreground. Folks, that'll do it for today's spotting vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, basically, once they go to 28, after you spotted from 10 in the economy lot, you don't really want to spot anywhere else. That's just such an awesome place. There goes number 190 to, to JFK, by the way. But uh, yeah, basically, once you spot there, it's like everywhere else is just not as good. So, um, got that glimpse of the JetBlue uh, 320 from MCO, which is pretty cool, and obviously all the stuff on runway 10. Uh, that was only seven bucks for like six hours for for all that so i would pay that again that's probably where i'll continue to go even if i'm spotting from the garage or the terminal uh, i don't mind a little extra walking that was really good so that's what i'll end up doing in the future and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave me a comment below and i'll try to get back to you thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one